crazy life. It's Lori. And it is Sunday, and we're going to do a day in my life. Sorry, I've got the water running. I'm making coffee and getting ready to feed the cats. It is 9.15. Hi, buddy. You hungry? Wellington is telling me that he's hungry. Um, it's a rainy day, so I can't ride my bike. Which I think is okay. This time, yesterday, my cousin and I did a 31 mile bike ride, which is great. But I really struggled sleeping, <clears throat> sleeping last night. <coughs> Sorry, I was eating a, a keto cracker. Um, I really had a hard time sleeping. My thighs were burning. I just was having leg pain. I do take medicine. I take something for sciatic pain. I also take um, magnesium because as somebody who follows a ketogenic diet, sodium is a struggle for me to stay on board. I don't have to cut it. I need to add more. Um, I think it has something to do with the carbs not holding on to it. I don't, I don't know the mechanics behind it, but there's that. So, there was a nice close up for you. Hi buddy, I'm getting you breakfast here a second. Um, so I decided at midnight when I was rubbing my legs with my muscle roller that I'm gonna take a day off of exercise today. My house could use a tidy, which I'm not mad about. I mean, this is life. And during this portion of my year, I, you know, I dedicate a lot of time to exercise and getting ready for my 50 mile bike ride. But it could use some tidying. Um, I need to go to the Dollar Tree out of town. I'm making a baby. Um, my Dollar Trees are pretty dry right now. They're getting some school supplies in. It's just not something I need to purchase. Um, typically, which is fun, I used to buy from my cousins, the kids, I'm coming, buddy. They're school supplies, but I have one going into college and one going into high school, and they really don't have a list. Okay, watch out, buddies. Guys, you're driving me crazy here, you two. They want breakfast. I'm not normally up this late, but I had to get a shower and get dressed, so. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna get them a gift card to like Target, so when they get their list, and know what they need, they can go and purchase the things that they want because they're older now and they don't have, you know, lists of specifics. So I don't need school supplies. I do need some planner stuff for me, but I think I have everything that I need. I did push back my timeline. Yes, I'm stirring the cat food, guys. I put warm water in their wet food. Here you go, buddy. Come here, Jess. There you go. Sorry, I put warm water in their cat food and the wet food and mix it up to make it a little more palatable for them to enjoy. So we're getting a travel cup out. I'm using this skinny salted caramel today because I like it. A little goes a long way, keep that in mind. And something that's not on my Dollar Tree haul because I used it, I got this screwdriver that has some, I don't know where my sockets are. And I needed to change the light bulb in my refrigerator. And the one light bulb at the top is held in with a nut that doesn't have a screw head. Fun fact, this fitted exactly. And I didn't know Dollar Tree had appliance. My hair is so weird today appliance light bulbs and it really brightened up my refrigerator from the old one well the old one burnt out so anything would brighten it up but it was it's brighter than the one that was in there so for breakfast i'm just gonna have a little bit of peanut butter i've been watering plants guys i'm telling you my house is a mess it is so cluttered up there's just stuff everywhere because i've been like yesterday, I got up, I rode my bike, I, it took us, 
I mean, I was gone about on the ride, about three hours, two hours and 45 minutes, but then it's a half an hour there and back. Then I showered and I ate something and then I had to take my brother, the one that has handicapped, to get something at the store that he needed. And so um, by the time I got home, it was like seven o'clock in the evening and I didn't want to do anything. So I do also need to hit the grocery store. I need some more half and half for my coffee. Ooh, fun thing I found. So I did go to Staples. I needed something. What did I need for my planner? Oh, the friction pens. They're erasable and I love writing with those if I don't think my if the plan might follow through. But anyway, they have this Dunkin' coffee. This thing is 30 ounces, so it's a pound almost two pounds of cough a pound and 16 ounces isn't 16 ounces a pound all right it's almost two pounds of coffee and this was on clearance for five dollars and it's good until it's best by february of next year so i grabbed two of them because you know your girl drinks a lot of coffee and Sorry, my, I put lotion, I put extra on my lip and it's in my nose. Um, oh, and my hyaluronic acid, look, and my neck wrinkles are filling in. I mean, they're still there, but they're filling in. And I don't feel like these are as pronounced. My smile lines. Girls, are you done hearing me babble this morning? So what we're doing is waiting for this coffee to brew. I fed the boys and we're gonna head out to Lancaster or Lancaster, however you pronounce it, in Ohio. It's a town that's about 20 minutes away from me, 25 minutes maybe, I'm gonna drive there. They have a Dollar Tree. I'm gonna hope that they have um, some different stuff on the shelves than what we have here because I'm finding nothing and it's getting to be a little frustrating. And then I will be home and we're gonna work on my planner and then we're going to my cousin's because he's making a brisket for dinner and they invited me over. All right, I'll be back with you. I'm soaking wet, guys. I'm glad I didn't go for a bike ride today because I will be stuck out in this storm. Rule number one of biking, always check the weather because you don't want to get stuck. It's not as bright out as it's showing on this camera. So I just left my second Dollar Tree and I did find something for the giveaway. I'll give you a sneak peek. It's these little we get a glance. So you just leave these on your desk or your counter and on like Sunday you can plan your whole week out and you get 40 sheets. I thought that was pretty cool and these are from Crown Jewel is the name of the company that puts these out. There were two different styles. I got this one for the giveaway, and I got this one for my little cousin, Addison. And they're both kind of like a boho theme, but I think she'll like that one. Yeah. Now we're gonna go home, and I'll show you the groceries I got, but we're gonna hope that this rain subsides before we get to my house because I've got groceries to carry in and you know nobody wants to get so soaking wet more than I already am and again let's all say together we are so glad that we did not ride our bike today but I also have a headache and that is from the rain so I just took some ibuprofen which should help with the headache. I got the groceries that I needed at all day already. And I've gone to two Dollar Trees and this is what I can find. These are all the Dollar, I have every Dollar Tree in my area. And I don't wanna buy junk just to buy junk because then what do I do with it? So we'll have a Dollar Tree haul later on. I'll film it once my shirt dries. And yeah, Ooh, something is, oh my, the wire in my bra is poking me. All right, let's get home. Okay, I'm back from the grocery store. I wanna show you what I got, which was some turkey, 
and just some sharp cheddar cheese slices. These are great for me for lunches during the week. Um, and I'm trying to eat up a lot of the food I already have. I'm still wet from coming in. I grabbed two half and halves for coffee because we know I drink a lot of coffee, right? I also have boiled eggs in the fridge. So I bought a dozen eggs and I'll show you what I store them in. Let me move that. I store them in these containers so I can just always see how many eggs I have. Um, I did buy a lot. I just got one dozen this week because I boiled up 10 to eat as like hard boiled eggs or I'll make um, like deviled eggs, but I store them in here in the fridge on the top shelf. I grabbed some pork rinds always and then they had these wisps, which I love. They're a little expensive. I think they're $3.99 a bag. And these are the ranch flavored um, cheese wisps. I love them. I also like parm crisps. And then I got to put in my snacks this. It's a, just like a beef jerky. It's air dried beef. It's called chili lime carne seca. I think it's beef jerky. But there's zero sugar, zero carbs in here. So those are nice and clean for me. So I have those for a snack. And I spent $26.90. These were expensive. This is $7. So I try not to buy a lot of those, but I mean, they're good for me. I need to take out my trash. I have a pile behind me. Next up, let's swing you around, shall we? We're gonna move you so you can see my windowsill. So here's my mint plant that I have. With mint, if you want it to grow more bushy, you have to trim it. And then what I'm doing is making some starters. So I just have a cup here of water. And if you can see, I already have one that's been in there for a little bit rooted. So what I'm just doing is trimming it back and you trim it to where there's two leaves, like in a V. And it will make it grow more bushy and not so leggy, it's called. We don't need leggy, we need bushy. So like right here, I just trim it. And I'll eat these too, it just keep some, oops, well that one went in my dishwater. But um, I keep them in a cup of water and then if I wanna eat it, I will eat it, put it in a drink or something. But if not, it will root and I can then put it in another pot and maybe give it to Sarah or something, I don't know. This one here, I just don't want them getting super long, trying to stay on top of them. They grow, mint grows very fast. Like here's a, a nice one that just sprouted out from it. So we're gonna come over here. This one is getting pretty long and it doesn't really look that good. So I'll probably just eat this one, but there. And then I will let it, continue to grow and do its thing. And it will turn towards the sun. So now I need to rotate. I rotate it like every morning. And the ones here with these bigger leaves on it, next time I'll probably come in and trim this one off because there's some big leaves on it. But for now, it looks good. And these are great. This is sweet mint. Mm, let me turn you around. Sweet mint is delicious. There's also cocoa mint or chocolate mint. That is good too. But I'll use this this afternoon. I'll make some lemonade or hibiscus tea. And this is why I bought these little tiny scissors from the Dollar Tree. I just leave them right there. And then all my plants up here, are my succulents, and they need lots of sunlight for that. So I'll let my mint plant, and also I like it in the window because it takes a lot of water. It dries out very quickly. Uh, because it grows so fast. So if it's in my windowsill, I see it because I make coffee all the time. <laughs> and then I can see it. I also have a plant back here. This is the one, the pothos that I bought. Oops. Um, that I bought at the Groovy Plants Ranch. And it's doing really well in the kitchen. I keep it up on a shelf super high so the cats can't get to it. Although, 
they have never paid any attention to these leafy plants. The only plants they eat of mine, you see that tree right there that with the spiky, they will chew on that and it's not poisonous to them. Um, but this plant here, this pothos, they don't usually bother those, but I wanted a plant in the kitchen. So I put it on my shelf over here. And then I have the one in the living room that is the, it's called a bird's nest. It's in the same family as the snake plant of Sevavarius, I think it's called. I don't know. Coffee's ready. So I have a headache I'm craving and it's chilly out. It's like 70, but I've been used to like the summer weather. Oh, I should link the seller that I got this shirt from on Etsy because I had a lot of questions the last time I wore it. But I did get this on Etsy. And if I remember, I will link her store down below. I got it really quickly too. And it runs pretty true to size. This is a unisex 2X, which is what I prefer. Um, it's not overly loose, but it isn't tight because I don't like tight. So they do fit pretty true to size in the unisex world. I said I was gonna eat peanut butter for breakfast and then I left and didn't eat peanut butter. I didn't eat anything. So now I'll have some peanut butter. Make some coffee. I think I'm gonna work on a planner page and I'll show you what I'm working on when I get it out. Right, because it's gonna be a house day with this weather. Okay guys, well I'm home from my family. My hair is a wreck. And I am getting ready for bed. I've gotta to work tomorrow. I've gotta to take my medicine. Gotta get my clothes ready, do some laundry. So I hope you enjoy tagging along with me today and I will talk with you later. Bye.